Hi everyone, welcome to your uh, functional core strength class. Uh, my name is Jocelyn. I'm a fitness instructor at Eight Wing Trenton. Um, if you are a CAF member, uh, welcome to the class. Uh, if you get injured during this class, make sure that you fill up a CF98 form. Uh, if you're not a CAF member, uh, these classes were uh, made specifically for uh, CAF members. So if you feel unsure if you're uh, able to participate in this class, there is a questionnaire. It's called the Get Active Questionnaire. Uh, check that out in the description and uh, feel free to join in if you feel any pain. Make sure you stop and consult a medical professional. Uh, now I'm not going to be playing any music during this uh, circuit, so feel free to play your own music to keep yourself motivated. <clears throat> All right, so we'll get right into the demo. Uh, so I have a circuit for you today. Uh, six exercises. We're going to be doing uh, three rounds uh, with a minute rest in between each round. Okay, so we'll get started um, with a front plank row. So I have my uh, band set up over here. It's anchored on the ground over here. If you don't have a band, feel free to sub in any other plank um, or you can just row with a weight. Uh, so uh, other planks, you can just hold a regular plank or you can do a plank tap. Uh, it's up to you if you don't have a band or a weight that you can substitute. Uh, so for the front plank row, set yourself up in a front plank, okay? You might have to spread your feet out a little wider than usual, uh, just to give yourself a better uh, base, okay? Band in one hand, okay? You're going to row down, elbow to your side. Make sure that your hips and shoulders are staying square to the ground the whole time. Um, it is kind of your uh, instinct to lean in to give yourself a little bit more stability, but make sure that you're keeping your shoulders and your hips square to the ground you're bracing your core and you're engaging your glutes. So you're gonna be doing 12 total, six rows per side, okay? So that's the front, front plank row. Again, make sure your shoulders and hips stay square to the floor uh, and you're not rocking side to side. <coughs> now, uh, the next one is side plank. So, uh, side plank row, sorry. So it's the same concept, just with the side plank. So I'll show you a better angle of the side plank first. So uh, feet and elbow, okay? Lift your hips up. Again, bracing your core. Make sure that your shoulders are stacked and your hips are stacked and your body's nice and high. You're not letting your hip drop down like that, okay? And then from here, you're just gonna row, keeping your elbow tight to your body, uh, hand to your side, okay? So with the row, set yourself up. Again, you want to make sure that your hips and shoulders stay stacked. You're not leaning back or leaning forward, okay? And you're just going to row. Again, it's 12 total, six per side. And if you don't have a band, again, you can use a weight to substitute or just pick another side plank. Like, just hold a side plank for 30 seconds uh, or something like that, okay? Um, if you, you also can do uh, both planks from your knees, so the front plank can be done like this. Just again, make sure you have a nice flat body line. You're not turning into a more of a, a tabletop. You wanna make sure your hips are down, you have a nice straight body line. Or a side plank from your knees like that with the row. Okay, so that's the first two exercises. The next one is a wall push dead bug. So set yourself up near a wall, okay? On your back, feet planted. Uh, butt on the ground, okay? You want to make sure that you're bracing your core so your low back doesn't move off the ground, okay? So I'm going to push my hands, just like the name says, push my hands against the wall, okay? I want to get uh, good pressure so I'm engaging the muscles here, my lats and the serratus anterior, okay? So I get a good push on the wall, lift my knees up, okay? And I'm just going to extend one at a time, nice slow controlled movements. So I'm gonna do 12 total, six per side. Nice slow control movements. Again, bracing your core so your back isn't arching up off the floor. All right, and after the wall push dead bug, we're gonna be going on to rollouts. So I don't have an ab roller. I do, however, have a towel and or 
a Swiffer cloth. <laughs> so I'm going to use the Swiffer cloth as my roller. So starting on your knees, starting in tabletop position, hands on your towel. Okay, make sure you're bracing. You're going to push your hands out as far as you're able to, making sure that your uh, back, your sorry, your core is staying engaged and your back is not arching, okay? So from the other angle, it should be staying nice and flat. You shouldn't be arching, okay? <clears throat> so roll yourself out, push yourself out as far as you can, and then bring yourself back in. Again, bracing your core the whole time, make sure you're not arching your back. After, sorry, we're going to do eight of those. After the rollouts, we're going to do 30 seconds bear crawl. So for the bear crawl, you're going to start in tabletop position. Okay, make sure your hands are underneath your shoulders, your knees are underneath your hips. You're going to uh, turn your toes underneath. You're going to lift your knees up, and then you're going to walk opposite arm, opposite leg. Okay, I don't have very much space. So I'm going to be going forward as far as I can and then backward as far as I can and continue that for the 30 seconds, but feel free um, to go forwards, backwards, side to side. Uh, feel free to switch it up a little bit. So again, opposite arm, opposite leg, making sure that your shoulders and your hips stay square the entire time. You shouldn't be moving your body around like this, okay? So nice controlled movements, keeping your core nice and strict, bracing the whole time, okay? So 30 seconds of that, and after that, we're going to finish off with our carry. So I know on the poster it does say uh, suitcase carry, feel free to do that, but I'm going to challenge myself today. I'm gonna do a bottoms up carry. I found this uh, jug filled with water. I'm gonna use as my weight. So for the, if you want to join me with the bottoms up carry, uh, grab something that you're able to hold with a handle and also keep the bottom up. So this is going to help activate all of these muscles here, your core, your serratus interior, etc., uh, that you use in overhead movements, okay? Uh, this will, I said core, yeah, <laughs> it'll engage your core as well. Um, so it's really great for core stability as well as it, um, trying to keep the bottom up, especially fill a jug filled with water that's going to be sloshing all around. It activates a lot of your neural pathways, so uh, you're going to get mental work as well. Uh, so 30 meters, bottoms up carry. Make sure, for every, just like every carry, uh, you're bracing your core, okay? Uh, you want to keep your shoulders and your hips square. You don't want to be moving around with the carry, okay? So a suitcase carry, you're going to be carrying it at your side if you choose that way or a bottoms up carry up like this, okay? So again, make sure you have good posture, your chest is up, uh, you're, you're engaging your core and your glutes, you're bracing, and your elbows at about 90 degrees, okay? So I'm gonna be doing five laps around my mat each side, that's gonna equal about 30 meters, okay? So again, you wanna make sure that you're nice and square, uh, try to avoid too much excessive movement or leaning towards or away from the weight. Especially if you're doing a suitcase carry, we kind of have a tendency to lean away from the weight to help us. Try to make sure you're walking with squared shoulders. All right, so there's the demo guys. We're gonna get right into the warm up. Uh, but before we start, make sure you have water with you. I know it's getting really hot, so just make sure you're staying hydrated, all right? So to start off, we're gonna foam roll. Uh, if you have a foam roller, join in. Tennis ball, lacrosse ball, anything like that. Uh, I'm going to start off, I'm going to be doing my T-spine, my lats, and my glutes, because those are what uh, need more attention on myself. But if you guys have other areas that you know need a little bit more attention, go ahead and do those instead. Uh, so I'm going to start with my T-spine. So <clears throat> feet flat on the floor, butt on the ground. I'm going to start about at the bottom of my rib cage, okay? I'm going to hug my arms across my chest, bringing my scapula away from my spine, and I'm going to lean back as far as I can over the roller, keeping your butt on the floor, and hold for a few seconds. Good. Come up, and you're going to roll about an inch on the roller, okay? Again, keeping your core uh, 
engaged, make sure you're not getting any movement from your low back. It should all come around the roller, not from here, okay? So do it again. You're going to continue up your spine, moving an inch at a time until you get uh, about to your shoulders. This is just waking up all the ligaments that are around your spinal bodies. All right, good. So next up, I'm going to do my lats. Uh, so I'm going to go from about the bottom of my page on the side to about the middle of my armpit. Okay, just be aware that this uh, area can be pretty sensitive. So if you need to take a little pressure off, uh, just hand on the floor on the roller and take some pressure off from the roller, okay? So I'm going to plant one foot, lift my hips up, and just roll bottom of the rib cage to your armpit. Switch sides. Good. All right. So now I'm going to move on to my glutes. So I'm going to sit on the roller, one uh, ankle on your knee, I'm going to be working on the glute where my knee is up, okay? So you can go forward and back, you can twist your hips side to side, just looking for any tender spots. If you find any trigger points, just try and work them out, hang out on that area. Switch sides. Good. All right. So you can put the foam roller away. Next up, we're going to do some cars. Um, so we're going to start with our shoulders. So palm facing in, make sure the rest of your body isn't moving. Okay. I'm going to bring your uh, hand up as high as you can until you can't move it anymore. Then you'll turn your palm outward and continue that circle again. Try not to move the rest of your body. And then palm facing in, we're going to do one more that direction. Good, and then we're going to switch sides, so thumb goes up until you can't anymore, palm turns out, and then come around, swing through one more time. Good, and switch sides. Good, reverse direction. Good. And next one we're going to do is for the hip. So for this one, again, you shouldn't move any other part of your body. It should just be the hip you're working on. So if you need to, you can brace yourself against the wall or a chair or anything like that. I'm just going to be facing the camera just so you guys can see me better. Uh, but plant one foot. Okay, lift your knee. Knee goes out to the side. Ankle comes up around the hurdle and back through one more time, 
out to the side, ankle goes up, go around the hurdle, and through. Now we're going to reverse that, so heel back, and around the hurdle the other way, ankle down, and swing through one more time, come around, and down. Good. And the other leg. Make sure you're, you're planted before you start. One more time this direction. Whoops. That's why it's good to hold on to something. <laughs> All right, and reverse that. And one more time. Good. All right, so next up, we're going to do the cat-cow. So starting in tabletop position, okay? You're gonna start by looking up uh, arch your back down and butt comes up. Then we're going to switch that, looking down, uh, chin to your chest, back arches up and butt tucks under. Okay, we're going to do five of each slow controlled movements between the two positions. Good. So from here, we're going to do Spider-Mans. So starting in a high plank position, bring your right foot to your right hand, open your chest up, right hand to the ceiling, right elbow to the floor. I'll show you from the other direction. High plank, left foot to left hand, open your chest up, left hand to the ceiling, left elbow to the floor, or as close as you can get. We're going to do two more of those each side. Now from here, we're going to do three bird dogs per side. So starting in a tabletop position, you're going to extend opposite arm, opposite leg, nice, slow and controlled. Try to keep your shoulders and your hips square to the floor. You should be bracing, okay? Bringing them together, do a little push with your hand on your knee. We're going to do three each side. Again, try to keep your shoulders and your hips square. Bracing your core, nice slow controlled movements. Good, all right. And after that, we're going to do a side plank clam. If you guys have a band you can put around your knees, Go ahead and do that now. If not, that's okay. Just do the exercise without the band. So band around your knees. We're gonna go into a half plank, so on your knees, okay? Pick up your hips, make sure you have a nice straight body line, and you're just going to open up your knees, make sure you're engaging that glute. We're gonna do three per side. Good. All right, get rid of that band. We're gonna do three single leg glute bridge per side. If you can't do a single leg, just go ahead and do a double leg. Just do six total. Okay, so planting my hands, foot planted. I'm gonna keep one hand on my uh, knee that's up, just for counterbalance, and pick your hips up. Make sure you're going full, full extension. We're going to do three per side. Good. And you're staying lying on the ground. Just hug your knee to your chest. Three per side.
Good, all right. So just a reminder guys, put on music if you like. Uh, make sure you drink lots of water. We're gonna do three rounds with a minute break between each round. All right, so we're gonna start off with 12 front plank row. All right, make sure your feet are wide enough so you can keep a stable body position the whole time. 12 total, six per side. There's six. Good. Side plank. Again, six rows per side. Make sure you're nice and stable before you get up. So added resistance will definitely knock you over. There's six, switch sides. Make sure you're feeling resistance the whole for the whole pull. If you have to adjust your body away from your anchor, do so. You should feel resistance the whole time. And there's six. Good job, guys. Onto the wall push dead bug. On the ground, make sure you have good contact with the wall. You should be pressing pretty hard. Knees up. That's 12 total, six per side. There's 12. Good job, guys. All right. Rollouts next. Eight rollouts. So grab your towel. Make sure you're braced before you start. Starting in tabletop. Roll out as far as you can. Pull yourself back in. Remember to brace. Make sure you keep a nice straight body line. Your low back should not be arching. Three more. There's eight, good job guys. 30 second bear crawl. All right, I'll get my timer set. Remember starting in tabletop, make sure you're bracing. You're gonna move opposite arm, opposite leg. Okay, ready and go. Make sure your shoulders and your hips are staying square. Your knees should only be a few inches off the ground. Last 10 seconds. And there's 30 seconds. Good job, guys. All right, and bottoms up carry. Uh, like I said earlier in the video, if you don't have anything to do bottoms up with, just do a suitcase carry. All right. Make sure you're bracing. Your core and your glutes, your shoulders, your hips should be square.
Last lap. And switch. This cap isn't exactly waterproof. Last lap. Good. Well done, guys. Minute rest. Make sure you're drinking water. Good job guys, about 20 seconds left, or sorry, 30 seconds left of your rest. And we'll get right back into the front plank row. So I know I say it a lot, but make sure you're always bracing your core uh, for every exercise, not just a core exercise. All right, there's your break. Round two, 12 front plank row, six per side. There's six. And six. Side plank row. Six per side. Make sure you keep your hip nice and high. Good, switch sides. Six. Good job. Wall push fold up or wall push bird dog. It's a dung twister. Make sure you have good contact with the wall. You should have good pressure into the wall. Make sure you're engaging your core to keep your low back from arching off the floor. Twelve total. Good. All right. And rollouts next. Eight rollouts. Good job, guys. Halfway through the round. Two more, good job. Good 
Good job, guys. All right, 30 second bear crawl. Get my timer ready. Ready and go. There's 30 seconds. Good job, guys. And last up, the carry. Last lap. Good, switch sides. Last lap. Good. All right, minute break. Good job, guys. Just one more round to go. Well done. Make sure you're staying hydrated. seconds left. Good job guys, last round, almost there. <laughs> There's little drips of water all around my mat from that jug. <laughs> all right, last 15 seconds. All right, there we go. Last round, let's finish strong, guys. 12 front plank row. Make sure you're bracing. Stay strong for this last round. Six per side. Good. Side plank row. Keep your hips stacked, keep your shoulders stacked. Good. Other side.
Good. All right. Wall push dead bugs. Let's go, guys. We're almost done. Let's keep it up. Make sure you're bracing. Your low back shouldn't come off the floor. There's 12. Good job, guys. Rollouts. Eight rollouts. <clears throat> so last round, guys, keep it up. Keep working hard. Two more. Last one, let's go guys. Good. Bear crawl. 30 seconds. Ready and go. There's 30 seconds. Good job, guys. Last thing. Last exercise. The carry. Good job, guys. We're almost done. Let's finish strong here. Make sure you're engaging your core, you're bracing. Shoulders and hips stay square. Last lap. Good, switch sides. Last lap. Good. Well done, guys. That's it for the circuit. Grab a drink if you need it. And we'll do a cool down. So just before we start the cool down, we're going to take a few regulating breaths. So you're going to inhale, arms up to the ceiling, we're going to inhale for four seconds, exhale for four seconds, okay? So inhale, and exhale. So when you inhale, you want to get a nice deep breath into your stomach.
And one more. Good. All right, if you want to keep uh, that regulating breath up for the whole cool down, go for it. Otherwise, we'll get into some stretches. So first up, you're going to put your hands over your head. I'll go down on my knees so you can see. Hands over head, you're just gonna arch slightly. You don't wanna hurt your back, just a little bit. Nice deep breath in. And exhale. Deep breath in. And exhale. And one more breath in. And exhale. Good. Now we're going to do the opposite. Uh, hands behind your back. You're going to push your chest out. And do a couple deep breaths as well. All right, so we're going to start off by stretching our sides. So plant your left foot, put your right foot behind your left, and you're going to lean towards the left side. So from here, you can kind of move side or forward and back, side to side. Try, try and hit uh, this muscle right here, this area. Uh, so just move yourself around so you can feel a good stretch in your side. sides. Good. So next up, we're going to stretch in our hip flexor. So down on one knee, uh, we're going to uh, tuck our bums under, okay? So just tuck your butt under, pelvic tilt, and then lean forward. Make sure you're squeezing your glute, okay? And you're standing up straight. We're going to hold that for about 10 seconds. And relax. We're gonna do that three times each side for 10 seconds. And engage again, make sure you're tilting your pelvis while you're standing up straight. Relax. And one more time. Good. Switch sides. Pelvic tilt. Then lean forward. Make sure you're engaging your glute. Relax. And engage. Relax, and one more time. Good. All right, so next up, we're gonna stretch out our back. So starting in a tabletop position, plant one hand, you're gonna thread the needle through your arm, reaching as far as you can. Make sure you let your uh, scapula go over your rib cage. Good. 
Good, switch sides. Good. Next up, we're going to stretch out our lats. So again, in tabletop position, you're going to walk your hands as far out to one side as you can. You're going to drop your armpit into the floor and sit back onto your heels or as far out, or as close to your heels as you can. Good, switch sides. Good. All right. So next up, we're going to do our glutes. So in a pigeon pose, one knee bent in front, the other leg straight out behind. Okay. So you can keep yourself up on your hands or on your elbows or all the way down to the floor. Uh, try to get as low as you can or comfortably can. Okay. Good, switch sides. Good. All right. Uh, feel free to continue your cool down. Uh, make sure you stay hydrated today. Check out our Facebook page for more videos, as well as the national page. Uh, new schedule is coming out uh, for August. Thanks for watching. Take care. Wash your hands and stay safe. See you next time.